Hey folks, it's Ben Greenfield here, and I am with uh, Harley Johnstone, a.k.a. Dorian Ryder, a.k.a. the 30 Bananas a Day guy, and today we're going to talk all about Harley, about the 30 Bananas a Day diet, and everything therein. So, Dorian, thanks for coming on the call, man. Thanks for having me, mate. So uh, now uh, the the audience, I, I think some people in the audience might be familiar with you and your story, but mm-hmm. I'd, I'd love to hear your story and kind of your background. So um, tell me a little bit about, about yourself and your background and what kind of brought you to the point where you started eating, you know, um, I guess what, what's basically like a low fat, raw vegan diet, you know, how you became to be known as the, uh, the 30 bananas a day guy. Yeah. Basically started when I was a kid, just really sick with like asthma, Crohn's disease, bad mood, bad sleep and insomnia, chronic fatigue, just just really failing to thrive as a kid, in and out of hospital, getting drugged up all the time, always digestive issues, just feeling really bad, but always wanting to be, always admiring the kids at school who were fit and vital and had endless energy and mm. always wanted to be one of those kids. But just never could be because when you're sick, you've got no energy. And just got into teenage years, things got worse, and then started getting the drugs and usual teenage stuff in my sort of hometown. And then when I moved out of home, just started riding a bike for transport because I had no other way of getting around, couldn't really afford the buses and didn't have enough money to buy a car. Mm. And then just started meeting cyclists and learning a bit about diet and things like that. And just sort of stumbled into the vegan lifestyle when I hit rock bottom and went 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 from there. Basically. Gotcha, gotcha. So so when you when you kind of hit rock bottom, what was it that um, that kind of pulled you out of rock bottom? Like, what kind of changes did you make, or did you did you like read books, or did you mm-hmm. just or did you just kind of start eating the way that you eat now? I was just basically really poor student, and all I could afford was like rice and tuna and <laughs> cereal, and uh, I wouldn't even drink milk that much because. I, is, fruit juice is a little bit cheaper so I would have milk occasionally but I sort of just started changing my diet just by default not really by choice and just started to feel a little bit better and then I'd get more money and I'd, I'd buy more meat and stuff like that and then I'd feel worse and, it, and I just started playing with diet a lot and just tweaking it and just eventually started to actually make the conclusion that what I put in my mouth is based on how I want to feel mm-hmm. and that was sort of pretty a lot of us can relate now but back then that was like I never understood that what you eat is <laughs> determines how you feel. And I didn't learn about glycogen or carbohydrates. Really. I just sort of stumbled across that. And then eventually some, some you know, well-known cyclists sort of said, yeah, you've you got to get your carbs in, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Went from there. Yeah. So Basically, yeah, I just got really sick in year 2000, 2001. And I was like, well, I've, I've got to do something. I've got to take some bigger changes. And that's where I went from. There. So, so where'd you go from there? That's when I went vegan. It was uh, April 2001. Um, I was really sick. had like glandular sort of chronic fatigue, just just really – I would have a bit of fitness for a few months and then I'd get burnt out and just getting fevers. And I was just really f- – like just so frustrated. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd train really good on the bike and get sick and burn out. And I'm just like, you know, I was just so frustrated, you know, especially in summertime getting sick and weather's perfect, everyone's out riding. I just, yeah. and I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired and then went vegan. Yeah. So, so when you went vegan, um, what, what did you do first? Did you just start to eat plants and fruits and vegetables mm-hmm. or did you have like a specific diet that you followed? I was eating a lot of rice already cause rice is just so cheap. Right. Um, and all the cyclists locally that were better than me were just loading up on the rice. Um, that was sort of back before gluten free was a bit of a trend like it is now. Mm-hmm. I just cut out the tuna and chicken I was eating and, and switched from milk to sort of soy milk and hundred percent no dairy and straight away my asthma just went away and the, i remember the first day i went out riding i was like man the sun just feels different today and i'd ridden the same hill for you know hundreds of times and i said to my friend at the time i said i can, I can just breathe better today man something's going on it's this diet he goes it's nothing to do with your diet mate it's just i don't know what it is but it's nothing to do with diet and i thought yep in my head i thought you're wrong man it is because i've ridden this hill all the time and today was the easiest time ever so i just, just started feeling better 
Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it is pretty amazing, like how uh, how quickly you can see diet changes make a difference in the way that you perform. Like my uh, one of my boys uh, used to have exercise induced asthma playing soccer, you know, like like three and four year old soccer league, and we mm. cut uh, we actually cut um, like commercial dairy, like milk, out of his diet, and within a week his uh, his exercise induced asthma symptoms um, went away. Because he, he nice. wasn't dealing well with with the protein allergens in, in commercial dairy, so it is yeah. it is pretty amazing the link there. So when when did you um so twelve years ago at the time of this recording you you started yes. to make those changes. So how did you how did you make the conversion into kind of becoming known as the thirty bananas a day guy? Because at some point, I mean, you know, you've got a pretty big following on the internet, and you know now you do a lot of videos. Like how did that how did all that come about? 